Hello, everyone. Welcome to BLT's Bible and Life Talks with Brian Corey. I'm so glad that you are with me on today. Listen, today I just want to talk to us from the thought, a yet praise, a yet praise. Look, people are going through a whole lot in this world right now. There are things happening in their personal lives. There's things that's happening in their finances. There's things that's happening in their family. There's things happening that's taking place within their health. With, on their jobs. There are, there's so much that is going on right now during this time and during this season. And it's important that we maintain a yet praise. A yet praise is just simply despite of everything that I may be experiencing that doesn't make me feel good, that doesn't look good, that is no good, I'm still going to praise God. And the Bible speaks of that in Habakkuk chapter 3, verses 17 through 19. And I'm going to read that passage of scripture. Habakkuk chapter 3, verses 17 through 19. We're going to read it out of the Message Bible. Here's what it says. Though the cherry trees don't blossom and the strawberries don't ripen, though the apples are warm eating and the wheat feels stunted, though the sheep pens are sheepless and the cattle barns empty, I'm singing joyful praise to God. I'm turning cartwheels of joy to my Savior God, counting on God's rule to prevail. I take heart and gain strength. I run like a deer. I feel like I'm king of the mountain. It is here that we see that the person is saying, listen, look, even though I may be experiencing a famine, the cherries are not blossoming, the grapes are not producing, the strawberries are not, they're not ripening, there's, there's no fruit for my labor. He's experiencing a famine. And not only is he experiencing a famine, but he also talks about how the cattle bars are empty. The, the sheep pens are sheepless. What is he saying? He's saying, look, the, the things that I used to sell in order to reap a profit, the, the, the wool that was on the sheep that I used to that I used to sell for profit, the cattle that I used to sell for profit, I don't even have that. So not only am I experiencing a famine, there is no business. There, there, are, there are no transactions that are taking place to cause an increase in my life. And he says this, I will still praise God. He says, I'm singing joyful praises to God. He says, I'm turning cartwheels of joy to my Savior God. He has a yet praise. It's not based upon this situation. It's not based upon the famine. It's not based upon profit. It's not based upon revenue. It's not based upon any of those things. He says, I will still praise God. And not only is he praising God, he has hope in God. He says, look, I am counting on God's rule to prevail. In other words, I'm expecting God to be God. I'm expecting God to show up and do what only he can do. I'm expecting God to show how good he is at being God in the midst of all of this. In the midst of the drought, in the midst of the famine, in the midst of no, no, no produce, in the midst of, of no profit, no revenue, no... In the midst of nothing, I'm expecting God to show up and be God. And he says, look, not only am I counting on this, but I take heart and I'm gaining strength. I believe this thing so much that it's actually strengthening me. I'm not going based upon what I see, but I'm going to maintain my praise. And as I continue to praise God, I'm going to gain strength. That's the powerful thing about praise. I don't know if you've ever experienced it, but there's a moment where you begin to look at everything that's going on around you. But when you begin to praise God and take your, your eyes and your focus and your attention off of the situation, there is a peace that comes over you that you cannot explain. It's, it's a crazy peace. You don't even have words to put it. You don't have words to put to it. People are like, man, you're going through this, 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 this is happening, but you still have a smile. This, this, this is happening, but it doesn't seem like it's bothering you or it's affecting you. It's not that the person is not aware of what's going on. It's just that even in the midst of so much turmoil, they still have peace. They know that God is forever with them. So I just want to encourage us to let's maintain a yet praise, a praise that's not based upon the situations that we are going through, a praise that's not based upon what we see, but a praise that is based on the fact that 
God is with us. Let's pray. God, we thank you, God, that you are the God of all flesh. And your word says, it asks us a question. And it says, is there anything that is too hard for you? And we know that there is nothing that is too hard for you. There is no situation that you, God, cannot deliver. There is not a situation, not a problem that you cannot solve. And even though we may be experiencing different things in our lives, we thank you, God, that we shall maintain our praise. We shall maintain our hallelujah. We shall maintain our thank you, Jesus. We thank you that as we praise you, that our affections, God, begin to become set on things above and not on the things of this earth, not on the things that we are going through, not on our, our problems, God, but we shall magnify you above our problems. We will not make our problems bigger than you, but we will make you bigger than our problems because we will maintain a yet praise. We will praise you for life. We will praise you for health. We will praise you for strength. We will praise you for your peace that surpasses our understanding. We will praise you for your joy that gives us strength. We will praise you because your word declares that you will never leave us nor forsake us. And as long as we have you by our side, we are winners. And we thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Listen, maintain your yet praise. Thank you so much for joining me for BOT's Bible and Life Talks with Brian Corey. I'm so glad that you are here on today, but I look forward to talking to you soon. You take care. Peace.